good with y'all, man? It's tomorrow, one, two, three, T, and we back with another anime last stand video. And I know y'all read the title of the video, man. We got our very first Overlord unit over here on our Jotaro, man. It's the brand new Ultimate unit, man. And I ain't gonna lie, Overlord on him might be kind of tough, man. So, like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. If you like the video, hey, it might increase your chance of pulling the Overlord. And let's get straight into the video. And y'all already know, man, the Discord is down in the description below. Let's go ahead and go over here to Infinite Mode. I'm honestly ready to test him out. I've been playing like all night. Like it only took me nine attempts to get him, which is really cool. But I've been trying to max out his XP. But for some reason, I don't know if it's glitched or what, but I cannot get his XP to be maxed out. For some reason, like it keeps capping off at like 66 or something like that. Or it's barely even going up. And I keep placing the unit. I know a lot of people say, well, just place the unit down because you get XP. I've been placing them down, bro. And I'm barely getting any XP. It might be a glitch or something. Who knows? Who knows? But hey, like I said, we got Overlord on him. I think he's a four placement too, which Overlord might not be the best. I hear a lot of people say that new glitch thing is the best on him. But hey, it is what it is, man. We got our very first one. Let's go ahead and place Boa really quickly and let's start farming for my Jotaro. Like I said, I can't wait to just test him out, see what he can do, honestly. I have not seen what he can do, man. And like, I haven't even seen what his time stop or anything can do either. So I'm just, I'm excited to see this. Let's go ahead and turn on everything else. We can, I'll keep the damage, uh, I'll turn the damage indicator on. Sometimes it be lagging the game when you keep it on, so I do that really quickly. And we do have two money farms as well. We have the best waifu, aka supposedly the best money farm, and then we have speed car, aka the second best money farm. So that'd be really good to see. That'd be really nice to see. Okay, we don't need Boa down here anymore. Sell her really quickly. Let's go ahead and throw a Jotaro down. Look at that. Looking crispy off the 79k at level 60. Oh my goodness gracious. That boy is cooking. Only five upgrades too. Literally, he starts with 79k on placement. Then he gets to 122k. That's fire. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty tough. I ain't gonna lie. Let's see what Jotaro is looking like really quickly. The Overlord, and they also have trait ores and blessings and stuff like that. For some reason, I didn't load in the game with my blessing. That might be bugged or something like that, or they might not have worked on that just yet. But that's really tough. I'm not gonna lie. This is Jotaro over heaven. What it looks like. That is so tough, man. That is so tough. Look at him, bro. Just look at the model and stuff like that. He got the little JoJo things on him, too. Like, that's so clean, bro. That is so clean. Two punches is white, but that's tough. I'm not going to lie to y'all. All right, let's go ahead and start money farming really quickly. Let's place. Y'all already know, man. JoJo theme, JoJo, all that. Best waifu and speed card. Look at that. Got them two posted up together. It's tough. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's kind of nice. I like that she got an aura, too. I need to. I want to low-key spend on money farms, but, like, I ain't taking that L, bro. I know it's a setup, bro. Like I said, if y'all haven't learned from AA, bro, don't ever spend on money farms, bro. It's a setup. It's a setup. Because you're going to be like, oh, man, I'm only getting shiny, shiny, shiny. Because if I would have spent, I was thinking about doing that last night. If I would have spent it, I would have got Overlord Best Waifu. And I would have sold, bro. I would have sold. <laughs> so do not spend on money units. I'm telling you, man, it's a setup. Because before you think you're going to hit big, bro, you're going to mess around and hit that. And you're going to get an Overlord on an Oshi or something like that. And, like, they're not making trade transfers. So you're cooked. You're basically cooked at the end of the day. Let's go ahead and get that going, though. Man, that's crazy. So, like I said, just be careful with what y'all doing, man. Just be really careful. Me, personally, I'll be real careful with spending on stuff. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to week farms a little bit more money, so we're just going to wait and do that. All right, this should be enough money, but it is showtime. And like I said, his placement is four. So like I said, getting Overlord might not be the best thing for him. That brand new trait that they add, I don't know if it's called Glitch or whatever, that might be the best trait to add on him. Let's go ahead and get a 360 of Jotaro really quickly, man. He looks really tough. I'm telling y'all, bro, Jotaro over heaven goes crazy, bro. That's really tough. I'm not going to lie to y'all. All right, let's see what he's doing. Let's see what these attacks are looking like. Okay, this is the first attack right here. 
as y'all see it's just like two punches two quick little easy punches but look at his range though it's almost like bro it's like almost full aoe he's going crazy look at that because look at that circle bro that circle is insane like look at his range and then look at his actual attack circle okay let's see if the next one does anything different does he do anything look at the damage to 122k yo that's crazy does this do anything different or is it just the same two punches it's the same two punches, but like I said, this is tough, though. This is tough. Hold on. Let's see if that does anything. Look at that. 186K. And then it just gets a huge, massive jump to 1 million damage, which is insane. And then look at the range. It's like, look at his range. His AOE circle is bigger than his range. That is insane. Look at that. And then, boom, 1 million off of three upgrades, bro. That's Look at this. Look at the range. Look at the... Bro, look at this circle, bro. This man is basically full AOE. Everybody used to love AOE units. Like, full AOE units, they used to go crazy over full AOE units. Let's see, he's doing the same two punches. There we go. Now he got the barrage. That's tough. Now he has the barrage. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's tough. I don't know what he's hitting, though, but that's that's tough, though. Look at that. Bro, it's going crazy. Let's get it one more time. Just one tap. I'm like, it ain't nothing, though. That's so crazy. But Overlord, too. And like I said, I've never seen his time stop ability, so that's going to be real interesting to find out what he does with that. Hold on. Let's see what it changes up. There's like a little small little... I don't want, I wonder if that little small circle right there is his real attack thing. Like, what is this big old circle then? Is that for his time stop? Like, that's interesting to me. Like, that might be what he's attacking with right there, that little small circle. But I don't know if the, either that or the units are walking... I'm not sure, bro. I'm honestly not too sure. Because I wonder if he's attacking. Is it hitting this big old circle or is it just hitting that little small spot right there? That's really interesting to me. And like I said, on upgrade 4, really cheap upgrades. His final upgrade is his most expensive upgrade, which is 80k right there. But everything else, though, is super, super cheap, though. So let's go ahead and get that last upgrade right there. Boom, he has the Heaven Time Stop. Not gonna lie to y'all, bro, that's tough. And you can easily farm this unit, like I said, by doing this act right here. Just doing Act 6 Nightmare. You have to beat it on Nightmare. And I don't know what the drop percentage chance on him, but like I said, I've seen everybody with him. So he's, he's probably not gonna be like a rare uh, ultimate unit. I'm pretty sure Mash is probably gonna be like the only rare one because everybody else you can kind of farm for, which is kind of cool. I, I, I feel you, but I don't know if the rate should be like lower or maybe they're the same as Mash, but... Hey, like I said, and like I said, how everybody feeling about the update, too? I know a lot of people ain't, like, really excited too much for the update, but it's a decent update for right now. Well, at least for me, because I ain't going to lie, I pull Overlord, so it might be better for me than other people. That's probably the only reason why it's a good update for me, because I pull Overlord. Okay, let's get a couple of enemies spawning in real quick, and let's see if I can do the time stop. How much HP are they with? Oh, let me see really quickly, because I keep one-tapping everything. Okay, 100 and... That's it, just 143? <laughs> Let's see what the time stop looking like. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't want to uh, drag it on too long. Let's see what the time stop looking like. All right, heaven time stop right now. So what do? That's tough. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's tough. That's tough. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it's a 100 second cool. And I heard, I think it's like... For, like, if you have, like, four Jotaros and you use the time stop, I think it affects all four of them. Like I said, so, hey, that's what it is right there. 144 million damage. He's only level 66. I feel like he's a W unit for me right now. Like I said, if you're doing a million damage off the rip like that, that's guaranteed a W unit for me, man. Well, that's Jotaro basically over heaven or Giga Chat over heaven, however you want to call him, man. That's a tough little showcase. It's tomorrow, one, two, three, T.